Welcome back to this series on creating AI art. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to run Stable Diffusion using Google Colab, which is tapping into Google's powerful GPUs and computers. It is free, it is awesome, and remember, life is truly a gift, make it count. To install and run Automatic 11.11 with Google Colab is a lot easier than the manual method. Think of Google Colab as a Word document in this case, they call it a notebook that contains programming code. And this is a code that allows you to run Stable Diffusion on the cloud. People have made different Google Colab notebooks for Automatic 11.11. They're pretty much all alike with small differences. This is just a partial list. You can probably find more if you do a Google search. The one that I've been using is the last Ben. Uh, what we'll do is we'll right click, open link, in new tab, and it'll open the notebook in Google Colab, you can copy this code, this notebook to your Google Drive. And before you start, go to runtime, go to change runtime type, and make sure that you're using GPU, hit save. Now you see these little sections, these sections are called cells, and you have a little play button. And this play button is to run this cell. It'll execute that code. You can see that it has show code, show code, if you click on it, it contains the code required to run. In this particular case, this will install or update the automatic 1111 web UI repository on your Google Drive. Now, if we go to my Google Drive, this is a folder, it's called SD. Let's click on it and let's go to Stable Diffusion Web UI. And let's go to Models. Let's go to Stable Diffusion. And this is where you'll put your models. Let's go back and let's go to outputs. Now, every time you generate an image, it'll save that image in your Google Drive, which is pretty cool. Now, I've only used it for image to image. If you use it for text to image, you'll find a folder for the text to image. Now, let's go inside. It'll separate it by date. Let's go to the first one. And you can see that these are some of the images that I've generated with Stable Diffusion using Google Colab. Okay, let's go back. And now what we need to do is simply let's execute each cell. Let's run it. And then you'll get this warning. Let's run it anyways. You need to give it permission to your Google Drive. Let's connect it. Now this cell is done, it is mounted on our Google Drive. Let's go to the second one. This one is complete. Let's go to the requirements. Let's run the cell. This one is done. Now for model, we can use the models. We can use 1.5 or 2.1. It is included or we can have a path to the model and this will be the path that is on your Google Drive. Uh, let's paste that path in. This would be the exact same path on your Google Drive as well. And let's run this cell. Let's go to Control Net and let's run this cell. This one is done. And then last but not least, let's go to the last cell and let's run it. A quick heads up, if you're running this for the first time, it may take a while. And it'll probably depend on the speed of your internet connection as well. Now, this one took a while. It took about three minutes, but once it's done, it'll give you a link. Click on the link. And there you go, amigos. You are ready to start creating AIR on Google Colab. Once you're done with Stable Diffusion on Google Colab, we need to end our session. Go to Runtime. Go to Manage Sessions. And let's hit this little trash can icon. Let's terminate it. Hasta la vista, baby. Let's close it and let's close it. Don't miss the next episode. We'll cover the user interface of Automatic 1111, the main features and properties to start generating your AI art.